This is PBS. The Possum Broadcast System. <laughs> <laughs> Direct from Possum Lodge, it's Red Green Live! <laughs> Well, by gosh, they're letting us do it again. Go figure, huh? <laughs> this is our second uh, special we're doing live for PBS here. We're wrapping up here at uh, Possum Lodge, and we got a whole bunch of yahoos in the audience there. Yeah. Yeah. Look at those people. Yeah. Some of them have paid money to be here. We got some PBS big wigs out there, my golly. Yeah, well, I'll tell you something. Some of those folks have won contests to be here, and I wouldn't be surprised if some of them have lost contests <laughs> to be here. But that doesn't matter. We're going to be here for about two hours trying to raise support for the Red Green Show on public television, and of course, to goof around. And speaking of goofs. <laughs> what? Nothing. Hi. What? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Randy, I, I, I appreciate all the attention and everything, yeah. but as the producer and director of the show, I, I feel it's only fair to remind you that we have 120 minutes to get this yeah. thing going. Yeah. So I figure it's a good time to, like, you know, to explain to things how things work. All right. Or, you know, at least how they're supposed to work. All right. Because when this is over and the blame starts flying around, I want people to know who really blew it. <laughs> Don't worry about that, Harold. We'll be fine, okay? okay. So, uh, basically, I mean, we're here to raise money. We're going to do it by having fun, maybe badgering you a few times. Sometimes we may be unbelievably pathetic. That's your job, Harold. Right? <laughs> that chicks love that. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I'm so vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> How can they resist it? <laughs> I'm thinking they may find a way, you know. <laughs> All right, well, here's the scoop. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to raise a lot of money this year because we want you to pledge your support for the Red Green Show, as I say, and we got some great premiums for you right here oh i'm sorry premiums for you uh, right here and uh, you know what something else these premiums have never been offered before so uh, harold get to get the button up there oh I can't. now if, if you got to there should be a phone number at the bottom of your screen right in here somewhere i'm guessing by this time right if it's not i look kind of weird waving my hand like that i'm thinking <laughs> well that's where you phone to make your pledge right you phone that number right down there now if you make any pledge of any size big or small and you put it on your credit card you get this button that says Give me credit for red green. Isn't that a beauty? Yeah. Huh? That's great. Even my dad doesn't have one of those. No. <laughs> He's not going to get one either unless you can figure out a way to glue his credit card back together. Then. <laughs> That's very true. So you get that. Now, some of the stations may have a minimum level for you to pledge at, but they'll tell you that when you call in. So just, just call and then they'll let you know. All right, here, get to get the coffee, my guy. Oh, yeah, Okay, now that's pretty, that's it anyway. But if you, like, you think you can come up with 50 bucks, at the $50 level, we got this coffee mug. It says Red Green Live 98 on one side, and on the other side, flip around, flip around, flip around. It's got the PBS P head. Now, the P head, I'm talking about the, the P head without the glasses on in this case. <laughs> Isn't that a beauty? And you know, if you put that on your credit card, you get the button right along with it. Show them the button again. Show them the button. Show them the button. Show them the button. All right, show them the button. All right, okay, 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 good. That's enough. All right, so that's at the $50 level. Now we have a $100 premium. If you can go a little bit higher, if you think you're more comfortable, that's because 50 is only about like four bucks a month for a year, but the 100 is a little bit more twice that much in a way. About that. All right, get out the video. Get out the video. Get the video. The video. video? The video. The video. Get the video. This it? Got a brand new video. Brand new. Never been out before. It's called Red Green of Cars and Men. It's all about cars. And it's a it makes a great gift, and as the same with all of our videos, you know, you can erase it and record something half decent at your leisure. No <laughs> problem with that. So that's, again, that's at the $100 level. And again, a credit card, you get the button over there too, you know. And uh, Now, if you're a real roller, or your wife's out right now, uh, we got a, a real highbrow. Uh, T-shirt here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I said highbrow, not eyebrow, because a lot of our fans don't have any of them left. <laughs> Some do. It's just one big one. Well, that's though. true. No, that's all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is our first ever black T-shirt too. By the way, I should tell you, it's got the PBS logo on there, and it's got some Possum Lodge Latin. See, it says "Carpe Ductum Seize the Tape." Huh? Isn't that beautiful? It's a little reference to the handyman's secret weapon duct tape. So that's, again, that's at the $150 level, and we got a real ring of a dinga here for the real, the real big guys, huh? Yeah, we do so! Yeah. Yep. 250 bucks. If you can come up with 250 bucks, you get all three. You get the mug, you get the video, and you get the t-shirt, and if you put it on your credit card, 
you also get the button. And that's at the $250 level, which is, you know, only about 20 bucks a month if you look at it as kind of an annual pledge thing. Yeah, that, 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 that breaks down to like, you know, 66 cents a day. Yeah. Or, or yeah. like three cents an hour. Right. <laughs> yeah. Which is exactly what you pay me. <laughs> Assuming you ever actually paid me. Well, actually, Harold, I put it on my credit card. Here, have a button. <laughs> See, it's, it's that simple. You put it on your credit card, you get the button. So let's go through these just one more time. You got the, we got the coffee mug at 50 bucks. We got the video at 100. We got the t-shirt at 150. We got the whole shebang at 250. And if you put any of them or any pledge onto your credit card, you get the button. <laughs> all right, Harold, let's show them how the phone banks are set up. Oh, right? ex yeah. excellent idea. All right, okay. we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, just, okay, this, yeah. this is going to be tricky. All right, no problem. So, you got to stay with me on this one, okay? Come on. We were going to send out instructions, but, you know, we know your guys, and there's no way you're going to read them, so. <laughs> okay, this is how it works, right? Now, at the bottom of your screen, you see a number, okay? Now, if it's flashing 12, 12, 12, that's your VCR. Look up a bit. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that number, that number is your local PBS station, right? So what you do is you pick up your phone and you dial into your local PBS station and you're going to get a lovely person on the other end and you're going to make a lovely donation. Now, once that donation's in, you're going to get a number of pledges there and they're going to phone us here at the lodge and one of these lovely people are going to respond to the phone call. For instance, this lovely gentleman is uh, with us tonight. And sir, what's your name? Monty Higgins. Monty Higgins, and Monty, where are you from? from Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Now, what station is that out there? WCMU-TV. Oh, now, is this the first time you've ran the Red Green Plaid Show? No, it is not. Whoa, we got a veteran! All right! Wow! Congrats, thank you. You can tell he's a, he's a Red Green guy. He's got his hunting at night outfit on. Look, look can I just show this? Yeah. Look at that. See that? You can sneak up on a well-dressed deer in that, and bang, he's yours. Now, what happens once they phone here? I'll tell you, okay? They go on to, can I borrow one of these? Sure. Thank, oh, that one's full? No, it's not full. It goes on to this pledge form, like this. It could be a pink one. We don't know, that's the mystery. <laughs> we take the pledge form, and we take one of these new devices that up here we call a clothespin, and we put it up on our clothesline like this, you see? And you don't gotta worry, it's not like laundry day here at the lodge or nothing. We call laundry day Halloween up here. Because the guys put on fresh clothes and no one recognizes them. <laughs> you get that, don't you, Monty? Yeah. Okay, good. So, now we take this and we send it on down to our tote people. There we go, it's going down. Oh, we got a clogged line. <laughs> it's happening already, the lines are full. Oh, no, look, it's getting... you take. You got to take the uh, that device off, that scientific device pin. And it goes down to our tally person. And in this case, it's a man. So this is our tally man. And... <laughs> Our tally man is going to take this and then suddenly it's going to it's going to take all that and whoosh it over to our tote board and our tote board will give us a record of how people are doing and uncle red's going to explain that to us i certainly am harold all right this here this is the nerve center of the whole special that we're doing here you see this tote board every station that's carrying our special tonight is represented on this tote board and they each have a roll of duct tape see and as the pledges come in say for dallas fort worth here see as the pledges come in See how the duct tape just crawls up the tote board, huh? Now, this is just a demonstration. I'm not giving Dallas Fort Worth an advantage here or anything. But you see, that goes up there. Now, you see that line across the top, the red line there? That's a financial target for each station, see? But they're all handicapped based on the number of viewers they have in their audience, right? So, I mean, the. Well, the way it works, well, actually, most of the stations also carry the Red Green Show, so they're handicapped. In but there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> nothing we can do about that. And, I mean, the point is, the smallest station can compete with the biggest, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Now, here's something real special. If you're one of the people that pledges support for your station, and you help get it up there, and it gets up and reaches its target, everybody who pledges support gets one of these. Look at this. Possum Lodge Gold Card. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you get 10% off Possum Lodge merchandise for a whole year, and this will also get you into a locked door at many of the cheaper motels. <laughs> but, uh, but the true beauty of this unit is just to have something to, you know, kind of flash around at a board meeting when you're bored, you know? <laughs> the Possum Lodge gold card, don't leave public television without it. All right. Now, you may be wondering, okay, how do we know when we reach our target? Well, we have kind of a fanfare. First thing we do is we run the Possum Squeal. Hear it? There. And we get the lights going. And the light flashes above where the station is, see? Then I can come over here or hell and we say, my gosh, Dallas Fort Worth has just hit their target. And then the light just goes on and stays on, see, steady like that. So of course, what we're hoping by the end of the night tonight, we got a lot of lights 
lit up across our tote board, because that'll mean we had a lot of stations hit their financial target. See how that works? My golly, isn't that a beautiful... Now, you may have noticed here that these stations here, these are red lights up here, unless you're colorblind or bought your TV before 1962. <laughs> now, these are very special stations to us, because they're in what we call the red light district. <laughs> These are all the stations that ran the special last year and hit their target, eh? And I'll tell you something, if they hit their target again tonight, they're gonna go into the Possum Lodge Hall of Fame. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit about that a little bit later on, and I also have five great prizes that I wanna tell you about. But first of all, here's Harold to show you how you can put your station on the map. Take it away, Harold. Okay, all right, now you're wondering, you're saying, okay, that's the tote board, excellent, but every, every station that you saw that was on the tote board is also on this Lovely map. <laughs> now, you're saying, why a map and a tote board? Well, because Uncle Red wanted the tote board and I wanted the map and neither of us would give in, so this is my section. <laughs> now, what makes the map so wonderful and way more better than his thing is that all you have to do is get 25% of your target in order to get the map lit up, okay? Now, let's use an example like, say, oh, um, Ro Rochester, New York, okay? Which is like a WXXI, and they have, they reach 25% of their target. So, that's over in here, and we just go, they're on the map. See that? Boom! They're on the map. It's like, boom! They're on the map. So, what they gotta do, phone in, get your 25% on there, get yourself on the map, 25% pledge, get yourself turned on. <laughs> the map. Yeah, well, he tries, doesn't he? All right, we got one more piece of information, and then you've pretty much got the whole scoop. When this thing's over with tonight, we're gonna have a team of forensic accountants come in and add up all the numbers, well, Actually, they're here auditing the lodge books. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that right now. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come up with, first of all, a gold prize. Now, this is for the station that not only hits its target, but goes the highest percentage above its target. I'll give you an idea. Last year, Iowa went 432% over their target. So if you're going for the gold, aim high. All right? And we also have silver for second place and bronze for third place. And every station on the board is eligible for that competition. Now, you remember earlier I said the stations that had the red lights, well, they were eligible to go into the, the Possum Lodge Hall of Fame. Well, we got a special prize for the stations in the clear light area. See the clear lights here? What these are, these are stations that ran the special last year but didn't hit their target. And that's what these little red dots are. That's how they did last year. So we're looking for these stations to maybe make a little bit of an improvement. We're not going to ask a whole lot of them, but if, if they can go higher than they did last year, we're going to have a special prize for the most improved station. Again, that's only available to the stations in the clear lights here, and I think you know who you are. But let's not leave the greenies out. We got a whole section of green lights down here. Now what these are, these are stations that didn't run the special at all last year. In fact, some of them don't even run the Red Green Show. So we're calling them rookies. So they got their own competition going down here. The station that does the best out of the Greenies will get our Rookie of the Year award. Come on in here, Harold. Excellent. So that's our five prizes. We got the gold, we got the silver, we got the bronze, we got the most improved, and we got the Rookie of the Year. And each one of those is gonna get a very special Possum Lodge trophy. And the best part is yeah. that trophy's gonna be delivered to you in 1998 by guess who? Yes, Red Green himself. Yeah. <laughs> and Harold. And Harold. I'm so happy, but I did not know that. Well, Harold, come on. If, you know, if they're going to pledge that kind of support, it's the least that we can do. Don't you think both of us will go down there? Yeah, I'll, yeah. can yeah. we get separate hotel rooms? Oh, I've insisted on that. Then I'm going. All right, all right. So that's the kind of sacrifice I'm willing to make to you five stations. I'm going to come down there with Harold. So we're looking forward to meeting you down there. We should have a heck of a good time. Don't you think so, Harold? Yeah, I think so. I think that's all the rules we got to say for the next little while anyway, huh? Yeah, so, I, so let's get the fight started. Let's well, go. All right, tell you what we'll do. We'll set the tote board back to the way we should start. And we'll get her rolling. Make a call, make a pledge. Let's get her going. All right. Turn off the lights. Turn get the lights off. Turn the lights off. Turn the lights. Here they go. 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 Hi, Scott Elliott from Cincinnati here, WCET Channel 48. You know, last year we came this close to getting our visit from Red and from Harold. Finished 11th place. Well, this year, by golly, everyone in Cincinnati needs to call so we can get that visit this time around. Call us at 651-4800. And as an extra added service for those folks who are trying to get through in Wisconsin or Iowa or Salt Lake City or even Cleveland, try us. We'd love to hear from you. Area code 513-651-4800. Your vote counts here in Cincinnati. Welcome to the expert portion of the show, that part of the show where we examine those three little words that men find so hard to say. I don't know. 
Ventruism than that. <laughs> Joining me all right in this portion of the show is his best friend when no one else is around, Mr. Hap Shaughnessy. <laughs> goes as follows. Dear experts, la 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 la. <laughs> uh, there was a television program on last night that was disgusting, full of violence and, ob and obscene language. It was like going to my husband's family reunion, but without the food fight. <laughs> Can we please get this garbage off television? I hope not. I'll be out of a job. <laughs> so will you. Well, that's why the good Lord gave us opposing thumbs. <laughs> Nobody's forcing you to watch the, the ugly stuff. You need these to change channels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. That's so yeah, true. Yeah. That is so very true. You know what I like? 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 I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I like, um, I like PBS. I like PBS because they got, like, uh, quality educational programs on there, like Nova, you know, and they got documentaries, and they got those wildlife shows, and they got these political issues, and they got debate shows. Everybody talks at once. They all talk. They're only talking. Everybody's going like that, and they go, oh, I like that. I love those. <laughs> Well, thank you, Harold. Of course, we had no idea how far PBS would go when we invented it. We? Well, I say we had a courtesy to the others, you know, right? Okay, maybe they were just following my orders, but they were there. You, you, you uh, created PBS, did you, Mr. Shaughnessy? That's right, Harold, in the early 50s. Of course, we didn't call it PBS at the time. It was just BS. <laughs> We just had the one small station, Hapa Vision. <laughs> Ran out of it at the, uh, the back of the welding shop in Marquette. We got the idea of supporting our programs with public funds when we couldn't get any sponsors. Okay, so you were doing like News Hour and Washington Week and Sesame Street, like right out of the welding shop there? Or were you not that brazen? <laughs> no, we only had a couple of shows. I hosted them educational shows. One was a cooking show for TV dinners. <laughs> one was how I invented nuclear power. <laughs> and another one taught viewers how to write checks. That was an important show. You know, I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, personally, I find it very hard to believe that, you know, I'm the man who created PBS, the entire television network, is now running a water taxi service out of Port Asbestos. <laughs> I know, Harold. I, I wasn't in it for the money. And I wasn't in it for the fame. Well, I, I believe that, yeah. <laughs> you, you do? Well, not all of it. Just the part where he said, I wasn't in it. <laughs> From Wyoming's Handyman Corner, a few ways to use that versatile secret weapon, duct tape. Suspenders. Dogs love to ride in the back of pickup trucks in Wyoming. Make it safe with a rigged green seatbelt. <laughs> After you bag that big Wyoming buck, strap him down with duct tape. Don't let this one get away. You don't need tax for your tap. Tape everything on your horse. Before you get all wrapped up, call Wyoming Public Television with your pledge and tell us how you use duct tape. I want to say a special word right now to all y'all Red Green fans here in the Memphis and Mid-South. If you love Red Green and you love duct tape, you need to call right now with a pledge of financial support. Support Red Green, great comedy programming on your public television station right now. All right, here we are back at the map, and we've already got seven stations that have hit 25% of their target. Well, good for you. Let's see who they are. First of all, we got WNIN from Evansville, Indiana. Congratulations. We got WGVU Grand Rapids, Michigan. Well, I'm not surprised at that. We got a lot of great friends down in Michigan as well. Over in Wisconsin. Wow, Wisconsin. Boy, those guys get off to a flying start. Those cheese heads over there, they got themselves, they got themselves on the map already. John Niskowski, Byron Knight. Iowa Public Television, why doesn't that surprise me? 25% of their target, way to go, Iowa. Who else we got here? St. Paul, Minnesota, the Twin Cities, St. Paul, Minneapolis there, way to go, guys. And over here, Salt Lake City, staying neck and neck with Wisconsin. I didn't mention, we got a bit of a challenge going on over there between those two places. And way up here, can you, uh, folks, you gotta realize something. This is Fairbanks, Alaska. That's a four hour time difference. You realize how early it is there and they still managed to come up one of the first seven stations hitting 25% of their target. How about that for Alaska? Time to do the premium. 
You gotta do the premiums now. I gotta do the premiums? Yeah. You want the do premiums some premium. Again? Do some premium stuff. I got gold. All right. Okay, fine. All right. Okay, the premiums. Okay, first of all, if you put your pledge on a credit card, you getting this, Harold? Uh, yeah, I got okay. it. Okay. So you get there. You get the. Give me credit for red green. You got that? Yeah. yeah quit moving around you, or you something. You stand still. I'll focus. There. Call me in, call me in, Arthur. call me in. There you go. All right, the $50 level. You got the coffee mug with the PBS logo on one side, Red Green Live 98 on the other. Ow! Well, oh, sorry. Well, that's, a, that's the key grip, I'm thinking. And then at the $100 level, we got our Red Green of Cars and Men video unit here. Is that all right? Shake the camera so it won't be blurry. There, there we, we go. go. All right. All right. And then at the $150 level, we got this fantastic T-shirt that even the young people will like because it never knows when it's dirty. And I think you'll be able to tell, though. And uh, then we got the whole unit for $250. Bucks. And don't forget, when you hit your target, you all get the Possum Lodge gold card. So call and make a pledge. Let's keep her going. Is there such a thing as a definition for a red-green boat? I doubt it. I'll tell you, up in Alaska, they know how to have fun, and that seems to fit in kind of with our attitude at the lodge. A fellow up there by the name of Larry Culzer organized this Chena River Regatta thing where they all made boats in the style of Possum Lodge, and they, I don't know whether you call it a race, whoever didn't sink won, I think. And uh, the local wildlife were standing in awe. Look at this stuff, isn't that beautiful? It just took them one party to get the material for that boat. There, the, look at that. Synchronized and the little hockey stick rudder at the, at the end there. Well, they have, a lot of, they have a lot of fun up there. I think these are people that sit indoors maybe just a little bit too much. Look at that unit there. My golly. <laughs> dive, dive. Oh, plenty of time for that. And I'm sure it will, whether you want it to or not. Good fun up there. And then the prizes, I believe. What? I want to call the state and wonder how come we don't have a drawbridge here. There's a man who needs a drawbridge. Look at that beautiful. Keep your kayak on the ice, huh? Um, who says you can't have your kayak and heat it too? Anyway, the way that worked was they had that, well, there we are. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, they had the prizes there, I think the first, second, third, or fourth, and fifth one got to go in the in the parade. And this is the parade with Alaska one, the big PBS. And look at that fellow there made that, uh, that's Mark Saunders made that possum van. Does that look real or what? It's actually in better shape than the real one. And uh, I was up there, went down the street, and forcing people to wave at me and stuff. And these are some of the boats again from the river gone. Isn't that the, boy, oh boy. Oh. That says Stinky Peterson's River Adventure on the side there. Oh, they're coming. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's one clear winner here. It's the yellow one. He'll be back. Come along. Rubber ducky race ended with me getting, getting arrested. I'm going to spare you the details, but I'll tell you, they were all set for the conjugal visit. <laughs> taking this microphone from me because I can't, my arms are long, but let's not be silly. Okay. And your name is, sir? John Weinrich. That's right, very good. Moving on, no, I'm kidding. What, are you representing a PBS station? Yes, WVIA out of Pittston, Wilkesbury. Pittston, now where's Pittston? Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. You, lo you weren't sure either. You had to kind of look yeah. up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and is this your first pledge attainment? Yes, sir. Now, what do you think, what type of fan watches the Red Green Show you're finding? Uh, definitely loose. Definitely loose. We'll take that someone, as a good thing, I guess. Someone who has nothing better to do on a Saturday night. Oh, perfect! That's our crowd! How would you mind passing the microphone down to this gentleman? Sure enough. How about yourself, sir? Where are you from? Uh, Salt Lake City. Oh, that's terrific. I've been down there. Oh, yeah. I got to see you last summer sweating in 85-degree weather in a flannel shirt. Yeah, so. I, did, I didn't want to have to bring that. I lost 17 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. No. Well, not so, for you, but... Yeah, how is it? Now, are you expecting to do well this year? Oh, we hope so. Now, you're neck and neck with Wisconsin, is that right? Yes, we definitely want to beat Wisconsin this year. Has you got anything on the line for it? Uh, yeah, we've got some special gifts for our viewers at home, some secret things that they don't know about, so. You're going to sneak up in the middle of the night and get them? No, no, no. <laughs> well, we're just going to throw after you. You're scaring me now. Okay. <laughs> Sneaker. Oh, my God. We got... Okay, here we go. The live red-green pledge. Festival. Now, last year, Wisconsin finished 
third. Unbelievable. Third. And you know who was second? Utah. Well, that's not going to happen again, and I'll tell you why. Red Green's a friend of mine. I know Red Green. You know, the difference between Utah and Wisconsin is in Utah, you think Red Green's a comedy. In Wisconsin, we know he's a documentary. So, Utah, get ready. March 14th, be there. Possum Lodge, Wisconsin's coming in first this time. Take that, Fred. Try taking that cheese off your head. It's easier to use the phone that way. Mmm, cheese. Mmm, that stuff's not bad. I'm here to pitch with uh, Mike Hammer for our pledge attainment special going on here. I'm uh, trying to get uh, you viewers to get up off your duff and uh, pledge a little bit of money here. That's right. you got to support public television. Yeah. When I was in prison, uh, we, we couldn't get PBS on our TV sets. And I think that's one of the big reasons for the high rate of recidivism. <laughs> that, doesn't, uh, that doesn't make sense to me, Mike, because PBS, uh, it would have been on there because it's on pretty much everywhere. Oh, yeah, it was on, yeah. but we couldn't get it. You see, my cellmate, he set the TV to the Playboy channel, and then he, uh, he ate all the batteries out of the remote. Man, wouldn't eating batteries be a little hard in your digestive system? Oh, yeah. He kept going and going. <laughs> but for those of you... For those of you who haven't eaten your batteries, yeah, call a number at the bottom of the screen there and make a pledge. Yeah, and no stolen credit cards. <laughs> because why shouldn't folks use stolen credit cards, Mr. Dunn? Because it's wrong, Mike. Oh, right, right. Because it's wrong. Yeah. It's wrong. <laughs> why is it wrong Just again? Just call a number. <laughs> call a number at the bottom of the screen and pledge a little bit of support there. That'd be great. Yeah, because it, it's it, cause it's like cable. If you don't pay for it, you won't get it. Right? And if you try to steal it, like stealing cable, man, the cable system, the cable company, they're going to pump electromagnetic waves right into your TV and sterilize you. <laughs> the guy told me that. No, 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 no. See, the PBS comes, like, through the airwaves and the satellites and everything. The truth is people can get it whether they pay for it or not. Oh, right. No, no, I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I'm serious here, Mike. PBS just, it just, this comes into the homes. Oh, good system. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, but if you don't pledge, yeah. you won't get this coffee cup. Oh, that's right. No, that's true. Right? Well, there's, a, there's an incentive, that's an right? Incentive. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So how much is this? Fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, just call, call now and pledge your support for the Red Green Show and the other great programs that come to you on public television. Fifty bucks for a coffee cup? Okay, now come on. For the, don't fool around with me, Mike. I know you pledge financial support for PBS. Yeah, but I'm on probation. <laughs> well, everybody is until they pledge. Hi, I'm Dan, Harold's cousin. I'm the handyman here at WQLN-TV, Channel 54 in Erie, Pennsylvania, and a big fan of Red Green. I'm going to personally send you one of these buttons when you call in your pledge of support for Red Green tonight. You know, we have a lot of friends up in Canada that we'd like to hear from. And to all our friends in northwestern Pennsylvania, we say to you, get off your orange crates and give us a call at 864-3001 or 1-800-727-8854. But we're getting ready for the Red Green Pledge Special. But this is the Red Green Pledge Special. And that's where you come in. You can help keep Red Green on the air in northwest Florida by calling right now and making a financial pledge. We only come into your living room twice a year to ask for support, but Red Green shows up every Saturday night to bring you the best entertainment involving duct tape and power tools. So call right now and remember, if you can't be handy, you can always make a pledge. All right, I'm back here at the tote board and we got a few things going on. We got some uh, stations that are breaking out and some of the ones are the, are the ones you'd expect, Iowa and Salt Lake City and Wisconsin and Grand Rapids. But I'll tell you, one we got going is Smoky Hills out of Kansas is in our rookie board and they're breaking out. We're proud of them there. And uh, we got KTCA out of Minnesota, of course, that's not the, and we got WVIZ as Cleveland in Ohio and they're doing well. But I wanted to draw some attention here to Portland, Oregon, because I'll tell you what's happening in Oregon there. The station, the, the, the programmer, has put the show on the air to see what you think. He's not so sure. So tonight was one of the ways he's gonna find out 
what you feel in Oregon about the red-green show. Now, we got a little bit happening. We're up to about 15% here. But what we need is, uh, this is your chance. If you want to support red-green, you want to see it in Oregon, this is your chance. And you're right here. You're number 70, Portland, Oregon. You're in the green section. We're going to be watching you all night. There's a couple like that. Las Cruz is one. Las Vegas is another. We'll be watching through. But if you go down the board here and like, try and find your station, you're all here. Reading and Bloomington, Urbana, Evansville, Nashville, Huntington Beach, Mississippi. And I want to remind you about the five big prizes, because some of you may have missed that before, okay? Now, this, first of all, the first three prizes, they're available to everybody on the whole board, okay? This is the highest that you reach in percentage now. Percentage, not dollar figures, percentage of your target. So if you're a small station, you're going to have a low target. It doesn't matter. It's treated the same as the big, big, big stations. So the highest station that gets above their target by the time we wind this thing all up, well, they get the gold prize, the gold trophy. Second place, that's silver, that makes sense. And the third place is bronze. Knowing my fans, you'll probably get them all bronze, but that's your business. <laughs> the point is that we're going to deliver those trophies to you, Harold and I in person. And then, of course, we got the uh, special prize for the most improved, which is people who ran it last year but didn't reach their target. We're going to be watching that and keeping you updated through the night. And we're also going to have the rookie of the year from the green section down there for our fifth prize. So one way or another, you got a real chance at some kind of a prize and some kind of uh, way of getting Her uh, Red and I or Harold and I, wherever I am, where I'm going to come there with Harold. <laughs> Now, I think, I think what bothered me was even suggesting that was a prize, and I, I felt that was duplicitous in some way. So anyway, keep pledging. We've got it rolling here, but let's get it going. Nobody's hit their target yet. Who's going to be first? man that ever lived. And he's my hero. Well, here we are down in Iowa. They were the national champions last year of our uh, uplink special thing. They raised the highest percentage of their target. Boy, that guy there is scary, isn't he? And we had a lot of fun that day. It was over 100 degrees. Harold and I were supposed to both... Yeah, yeah. Relax, man. Harold and I were both supposed to be there, but Harold, the plane got blown to Salt Lake City, I think, by a twister. You'll see more about that later, and I'm sure I'll hear about it for months on end. But it was a great day. They had uh, music playing. They had a huge uh, turnout of people there. They even got to the point where they gave me the key to the, to the city of Des Moines. City of Des Moines, it gives me great pleasure to present you with this key, uh, Red, to our beautiful city. And by the way, I understand it is kind of a special key because it's kind of the one that goes to the closet there at City Hall that holds all of our extra duct tape. <laughs> Get the pastor. Let's hear it for the pastor. I'm Harold's uh, uh, twin uh, sister. All right then. <laughs> I think you better get your TV set fixed. <laughs> now, can you give us a little Haroldite, Kurt? Yeah. <laughs> I think the see-through bag was an interesting choice. <laughs> a second time. I grew up beard, I looked like Kenny Rogers. Now I'm in a red-green look-alike contest. Before I leave, I want to point out what this is all about really here tonight. We had that special in March, and uh, we had 75 stations run the thing. It was a competition, and Iowa finished well ahead of the time. This is the communications hub. This is where it all takes place. Your calls to your PBS station come to the possum lot. You're scaring me up there. Okay. And so it's co you're coming. All your calls will come here, at Possum Lodge, and we'll talk to these lovely, wonderful people like this long young lady that we I believe we've met before. Am I we right? We have met before. Would yes. you like to reintroduce yourself to the audience? I'm Robin Lavasser from WXXI in Rochester. Oh, that's Rochester, New York, New York, that's Buffalo. Right. No, Rochester. Rochester, New don't say Buffalo. Don't, don't get her going. Buffalo. She'll come at you. How far is Buffalo from uh, Rochester? It's about an hour away. Well, that's far enough, isn't it? We don't, we don't yeah, two different areas. Who else is it on the phone? How about yourself, sir? Which station are you representing? WOSU in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio? That's, oh, that's great. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did, uh, did Christopher Columbus discover that? Yes, he did. He saw it from the Santa Maria. He, he just had a long telescope. Oh, I imagine. It's in board. How come he didn't just go, hey, we hit land about four weeks ago. Why don't we just stop? <laughs> well, maybe someone from Columbus, Ohio wants to phone in. But in the meantime, let's check out what else is happening around here. We've got the phones ringing. This is so exciting. Make your pledge. Hurry up. Some people are sitting around doing nothing. <laughs>
I want to talk to some of you folks who've reached a certain age where you've gained some wisdom and still haven't lost your memory. You know, you, you've been around long enough to know the score, even though you don't totally understand the game yet. But you do know one thing, don't you? You know that there's no such thing as free. You know, a restaurant might say, free drinks with your meal. That just means the meals cost more, right? Or you see the free trip to Florida. Oh, yeah, free trip. If you're willing to sacrifice three days sitting through sales pitches of the joys of timeshare condominium life, you know there's no such thing as free. Even your country wouldn't be free if some people hadn't paid a real heavy price and made a lot of sacrifices. Well, television's kind of the same way. You may have some channels that say they're commercial free, but I'm guessing you pay a subscription fee to watch those. Or then you get those shows that are, they say the actual show is commercial free, but in fact the whole show is a commercial, usually for some exercise machine that ends up in your garage on fire. <laughs> so, you know as well as I do that nothing is free and you get what you pay for. So you're free to pay or not to pay. But you know, when you make a pledge to PBS, you're supporting great television for yourself, your kids, and your grandkids. And you're supporting quality. And this show, too. Because this show isn't free either. It just looks it. <laughs> Harold, take it away. Okay, I'm just going to reintroduce some of these, some of these uh, premiums that if you phone in and you get, you get the, the mug. If you do like a $50 pledge, you get this great big mug. It's got uh, red, green, live on one side, PBS on the other, right? Handles free, because you got to figure that's 25 bucks, that's 25 bucks, free handle. <laughs> you walk in, you say, put coffee in that, you're going to get like $700 worth of coffee. Already you've ripped them off. <laughs> then you say, uh, but Harold, I got like an extra $100 in my pocket. Well, okay. Ha, ha, ha. You get a video, and it's, and it's called um, Red Green of Cars and Men, and it's about, um, I don't know what it's about, but well, it's about an hour. Anyway, that's at $100, and for $150, this is the kicker, baby. You get like a, a shirt, and it's better on this side, actually, because there's writing on it, and it says, Carpe Diem, seize the tape. <laughs> And if you put it on your credit card, you get one of these buttons, too. It says, give me credit for red green. Now, if you got $250, say, what you could do is you can get the whole thing. You get the entire premium bucket. Well, not the bucket. You get what's in it, which is the, the button for the credit card, the shirt, the video, and the cup. And you get a cup. You see, like that. So whatever you do, just remember, pledge, 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 pledge. All right, Harold, 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 Harold. Easy, 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 easy. You know, you just, uh, Harold, you left one little thing out. What? That, that if they reach their target, remember what they get? If, you, if your station reaches its target, everybody who pledges get, I think this is such a great, I never had one of these. I never had the gold card. No, you're, board, you're you know? not gonna. You know, and then, uh, you know, it's, the credit limit on this, of course, is, is, is zero, but you know, you can say that a different way. You can say, oh, there's no credit limit on it. <laughs> I would get them going, eh? Yeah. Anybody reach their target, get on it and get the card. Pledge, 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 yeah, pledge, yeah, pledge, yeah, yeah, pledge, yeah, pledge, yeah, pledge, yeah, pledge. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take 11. Hi, I'm... All right, okay, uh, just a minute, audio trouble here. Just uh, remember, say, uh, make your pledge right now, KTWU, Channel 11, you red, green, and go. Hi, I'm Okay, Bob just a minute, just got to fix it up here just a little bit. A little bit more audio trouble. Don't forget what you got to say. You got to say, uh, new red, green, uh, take uh, Channel 11, KTWU, pledge break. Okay, go. Hi, I'm Okay, Bob, okay, uh, just one more thing, one more thing. This ought to take care of it. Don't forget, you're doing great, babe, you're doing great. Just say, uh, uh, take, uh, this is uh, new, red, new red, green, uh, pledge uh, break, and uh, go. Hi, uh, I'm... Time's up. <laughs> this is a repair shop part of the show we call If It Ain't Broke, You're Not Trying. My buddy Edgar Montro is here, brought in something for us to fix. What do you got there, Edgar? Oh, they'll do that if you don't grease them all right. <laughs> I've done this pilot for a PBS show, Red, and I need you to fix it for me. Oh, no, no, you don't call it fix it, Edgar. It's called editing. You need me to edit the tape. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Then I need you to edit the tape. Right. <laughs> Back into the cassette. Oh, man. How, how did that happen, Edgar? Well, it was a show about explosives, and uh, uh, this happened during the finale. Finales are kind of your specialty, aren't they? Well, they have so many fix-it shows on PBS, I, I thought I'd do one myself. I, I just forgot how dangerous it is for to use a little imagination and, and, and a pocket full of nitro. <laughs> Must have a pretty big budget if you can afford to be blowing stuff up on your show. Oh, not really. I had the nitro anyway, and I was the host, so I didn't have to pay myself. Because I'm not a professional, Red, I, I'm non, uh, 
Uh, what's, what's that word? Uh, Talented. Uh, <laughs> union. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the only real cost was the tape. What about the cameras and lights and so on? Didn't they get damaged in the explosion, too? Well, I, I wouldn't say damaged, Red. Uh, I'd say atomized. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. They were all rentals. <laughs> And I didn't leave a deposit. <laughs> so, you think PBS would like a show like that? Well, I don't know, Edgar. I mean, how can you make a fix-it show where you blow everything up? That's my hook. <laughs> you run the tape backwards. <laughs> it's really a great show. Yeah. I mean, have you ever seen a car suddenly materialize in the middle of a black and scorched field? No, but if I did, I'd assume you were driving. Hello, I'm Babette Davidson, the program manager for Georgia Public Television. You know, since we began airing the Red Green Show, we've heard there's been a shortage of flannel throughout the state. People try to catch the Red Green fashion craze. Tonight, we hope there won't be a shortage of people willing to support this program. Let Red Green know how much we like this show in Georgia. Take that duct tape off your wallet and get over to your phone and give us a call because remember, we're all in this together. That picture even captured the Reds' good side. I didn't know we I had didn't one. Either. That's a major. Look at how many people showed up. National television. We're, we're on national, national television. television. We were just looking at the photo album back when Red showed up here last August. Over well, 700 members were here. Well, people we were one of the Paul first people Minneapolis. that hit our goal. It was a great we time. We want to be one of the first stations to yep. do it again, at be least in the top three. Because we want Harold to. No, no, we don't want well, that. Yes, but we do. Call, call right now. We can have Harold We can't do it up. without you. You've got to call. You've got to call right now. Don't let any more time pass. Well, that makes me so proud, you know, to see those fellas. Now, here I am. I told you earlier about the Possum Lodge Hall of Fame. Well, this is it. Isn't it a beauty? Uh, it was a hall, actually, before Edgar visited. But what we have here, we have 28 spots available for the stations that reached their target last year. If they reached their target this year, They'll go on to the Hall of Fame, and I've got the cards right here. Maryland is one of them. If you hit your target again this year, you're going to be up there. Houston, Texas. Charleston, Illinois. Kansas City. Huh? They're all here. 28 of them here. Cleveland, Ohio. Detroit, Michigan. Gainesville, Florida. Maine Public Television. Columbus, Ohio. I've already heard from somebody from there. Grand Rapids, they're already on their way. Peoria. Denver. University Center, Michigan, the Ozarks, they're all here, folks. East Lansing, Duluth is here, Alaska, of course, and everybody else. So we're looking to see who's going to be the first station to get into the first square. Keep calling, we'll find out together. Take it away, Harold. Yeah, I'm just down here. I'm at the tote board. You know, I'm down in the green section. That's the rookies and, you know, the underdogs, and that I feel for them. So I'm just kind of looking around, you know, I'm noticing that Spoke, okay, it's moving. You're seeing magic right now. Spokane, Washington, it's going up a little bit. And they, they don't even know what's going on because this is the first time they've ever been involved with us. And already people are pledging and going, I like that red green show. You know, it rains a lot there. They're kind of damp. So, <laughs> but they watch the show and KSPS, and look at it, it's going up. The more I talk about them, you know, I like Washington. Boy, here's a spot. Okay, there maybe it's a commercial break, but they're on KSPS, so that's great. Just watch them go up. But if you move on down, you see all these different places like who else is like Mississippi, Mississippi's they're and then the white now they didn't reach their target last year, and they watch us on uh, M I S S I S S I P P I television. <laughs> you couldn't get short letters, nothing, could you? Always got to be Mr. Big, don't you, Mississippi? Okay, but you're doing okay. This is where they got to last year, so you're almost there, a little edging up. Georgia's already surpassed where they were last year because two people are watching this year, so <laughs> they're involved. That's important. South Carolina, we know you're out there, so we just need a little bit more golf, but get up and go from you. That'd be good. And well, I didn't think you'd stay with me on that one. And Cleveland, home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, not, we got a Hall of Fame here too. You're not so cool, but if you want to phone in, when you're watching on W V I Z, we say Z up here, but we'll say Z for yeah. <laughs> pledge. That's all you gotta do. Pledge, 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 pledge. Hey, isn't this a good idea? I thought it was, too. I'm Don Chicots with KPTS, and the production guy said, Hey, Don, since Wichita is the home of Coleman and they make these great lanterns, why don't we light our red-green stunt using them out in the back alley? I said, Okay. I'm out here, but they're not. They locked me out. 
So if you call in during the Red Green Marathon, would you let them know I'm out here and tell them to open the door? Hey, guys, come on, open the door. And by the way, thanks for your play. Hi, everybody. Ranger Gord here with a word on behalf of PBS. You know, ladies and gentlemen, 18 years ago, I went up to Fire Watchtower 13 to stand on guard. Now I'm back. To my amazement, I find that PBS is still there, still going strong, whereas Welcome Back Cotter has been canceled. <laughs> Can't even find it in reruns. Go figure. Now, I suppose if you live in a real house with real windows and maybe even an indoor bathroom, hoo -hoo, it's easy to take things for granted. But I spent the last 18 years in a creaky, drafty fire tower with not very much to keep my mind occupied. Except, of course, the creaking and the draft. And sure, staring off is fine, but even that wears thin after a few years. I tell you, if it wasn't for the large pine cones in my bed at night and the occasional run-ins with lightning, I'd have gone crazy. And I tell you, if it wasn't for the occasional run-ins with lightning, I'd have gone crazy. Anyway, that's where PBS comes in. You see, PBS is like lightning. It's very bright, comes from the sky, stimulates the mind, but it will not singe the eyebrows. So I'm asking you, please, on behalf of my fellow forest rangers everywhere who depend on Ernie and Bert to help keep up their language and reading skills, please <laughs> pledge your financial support to PBS now. Oh, sure, reading is good, but watching TV is better. <laughs> know why? Pictures are better, it's louder, your lips don't move. <laughs> Most importantly, they have to kill trees to make books. <laughs> trees are our friends. <laughs> I know, because I'm married to a tree. <laughs> well, actually, we're just living together. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Carolyn Black Sotir. The viewers of Maryland Public Television want to send greetings to all the gang up there at Possum Lodge and show you how much we love and support Red Green. Now, how can we show our support? by calling the number on the screen and making a financial pledge to MPT. So you see, your pledge is like a vote, and it tells us you want to keep our red green right here on MPT every Saturday night. And if we're one of the top five stations in pledges, we'll get a visit from Red, Green, and Harold live here in our studios right here in Owings Mills. So listen, call the number on your screen. Make a financial pledge of support. Our volunteers are here to take your calls. Let's keep great comedy right here on MPT and show the other PBS stations that we love Red, Green more than anyone else. Cut Bay Duckdom! <laughs> Well, hey, I'm Hugh Ficklin down here at uh, KRWG TV in Las Cruces, New Mexico. And, well, the other day, Red sent us a note telling us we ought to send him a little gift to put up there in the Possum Lodge, you know, to get your attention. So we sent some very fine red-green chilies. Have you seen them yet? Anyway, we've been asked to carry the red-green show here in southern New Mexico and West Texas. So I said, well, let's do red-green live and see if anybody calls. And if they call, we'll put the show on every week. And if they call quick, we'll even win red duct tape tote board race. So it's up to you. Call KRWG TV right now. Tell us you're wild about KRWG TV and you got your stick on the ice. <laughs> All right, we're back here at the map, and uh, by golly, we got uh, quite a few more stations to add to it. Uh, first of all, we're going down to Florida. We got Tampa on there. Way to go, Tampa. We got Gainesville. Oh, I remember Gainesville down there. I went down to the women's club there with the Brent, and we had a heck of a good time there. And uh, oh, here we are. Let's stop here. This is up in Maine. Maine, thank you, Maine. The whole state is now on the map. That'll be good news for the people who live there. New Hampshire. Hey, New Hampshire. By golly, good for you, New Hampshire. These stations have all reached 25% of their target. So, And Rochester, New York. Way to go, Rochester. Cleveland, Ohio. Way to go. Fantastic. We got Cincinnati, Ohio. There's two in Ohio. By gosh. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Thank you. You're on the board. You're on the map. WKAR East Lansing. We got Mount Pleasant, Michigan. And we got... University Center, Michigan. By golly, there's quite a few going there in Michigan already. We got WTVP in Peoria. You're on the map. Milwaukee, thank you. Hello to all my friends down there, Tom and the guys. And we got Duluth. Oh boy, remember that? I got to show you something from Duluth later on in the show. And we got Springfield, Missouri, the Ozarks Public Television. You're up 25%. Way to go. KERA in Dallas. Love to see that. We just got Dallas to come back on board last year. Let's see if we can keep it rolling this year. And we got Bunker Hill, Kansas, Smoky Hills Public Television. You're on the map. And I got a couple more here. I got Spokane. And I got 
Tacoma, Washington. Great, we got Washington going. That's 25%. Let's see if you can get your station lit up. We'll be waiting. Take it away, Harold. Okay, this is great, because I know there's a lot of red-green fans right here in this very room, and I'm just wondering, can anybody do a red or Harold impression? Because if you can, you're looking at a Carpe Ductum t-shirt. <laughs> Suddenly, let's see if we got some hands now. Way over there? Great, you gotta come meet me halfway. You gotta... Which way is quicker? I can, go, I can break more legs this way, I think. <laughs> pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Oh, hey, oh, look, I'm going back. <laughs> no, I'm going back. Okay. And what's your name, sir? Larry. Larry, that's just it? It's like Elvis and Cher Larry, and... Larry Boldy. Larry Boldy. Larry, where are you from? Branton. Branton, so you're in the area. Okay, now you do the impression, and I'll guess who it is. Ho, <laughs> ho! It's the best I could do. Is that like old man Sedgwick? <laughs> do it again, do it again. Ho, <laughs> ho! Okay, all right, I'll assume that's me. Okay, that's one. We have a lot of fellas. Another person over here. What's your name, sir? Jake. Jake? Well, why don't you stand right up, Jake, so we can see you. Now, you do your impression. Pledge. Pledge. <laughs> okay. That's good, too. Yeah. All right. Who are you doing? You're... Do I pledge, pledge? I do that, too. Boy, I'd get me off television. Anyone, other one? Anyone else want to try one? How about you, sir? What's your name? Noah. Noah? Okay, you go ahead and do your impression, Noah. Really? <laughs> that was Stephen Urkel, wasn't it? <laughs> we know. That was good. Okay. Now, all right, now, who, who do you think won? Do we have Harold 1, Harold 2, or Harold 3? Le audience? Harold 1? <laughs> applause. <laughs> Harold 2. <laughs> Harold 3. <laughs> Harold 2 is the winner. Congratulations. With pledge, pledge, pledge. All right. Way to go. I want to talk to you older guys about pride. You know, as time goes by, you start running out of things to be proud of, especially if you own a mirror. You know, you start doing things slower, you know. You're talking more, but you're thinking less, and that's not usually a good trend. You may even find that family and coworkers are overly critical about the many things that you do, either badly or not at all. And the bad side is now you can kind of get down on yourself, and that's not really where you want to be as you roll into your declining years. You gotta find a way to feel good, and that's where pride comes in. Because the best way to feel good about yourself is to do something you're proud of. Either a good deed, or a kind word, or just not laughing at others within earshot. <laughs> or, you, you know, you could make a pledge to public television, and then when people say how much they enjoy PBS, you can say, you're welcome. You might even pledge your support for the Red Green Show. I don't know how you'd feel about it, but I'd be awful proud of you. <laughs> And that's important, because I don't have very many things that I'm all that proud of. So why don't you pick up the phone and do something for both of us, huh? Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Now, here I am in South Dakota with my friend, Michelle Van Dannen. She's a lot shorter when she walks, isn't she? This fella here made a sidecar out of a hot water tank, I think, and actually drove me up uh, into the celebration in that unit. Boy, oh boy. And now here's the host of the number one show currently on South Dakota Public Television, Mr. Red Green. Covered himself with salad oil, and down he goes. <laughs> this is a beer stein made out of what? A South Dakota license plate with Red Green's face on Mount Mount Rushmore. Oh. Of course. Right behind the number two, probably. Why would I be behind number two? There we go. All right. It's one of those snow globe things, except it rains duct tape, and when you shake it around, it rains duct tape. And there's a little red green inside there with a hockey stick. And since the cat had to contribute a box that kitty litter came out of. <laughs> Mentioned that a little earlier in conversations. It's a filter queen bagpipe unit. I said, I, you're going on the blow end, I'm hoping. Yeah. Violator from the comic book Spawn. Violator from the comic book Spawn. 
Shouldn't you be going upstream? <laughs> This is Bernie. Let's hear it for Bernie. Have you been here before? What's your name again? Dan. Dan. Okay, Dan. Up you go. Let's hear it for Dan. And earlier I was speaking about Spokane, and we just got this message that from uh, there's some members up in Canada, uh, from uh, in Calgary and Edmonton, and they just wanted we should thank them too for participating, phoning down in there, making that long distance pledge. We always thank it, and that's in Canadian dollars. So you know, it doesn't help a lot, but every penny counts, I guess. All right, so, no, Ed Dodge, don't even turn on me now. So I just want to take the time to say, look at them, see Georgia, look, this is where they were, and look at them now, they're really catching on, they're starting to get the, get the fact that we're having fun, and that's what it's all about, just enjoying yourself and laughing, they're reaching their marks. Someone's hit the mark, I'll go red, I'll go red, we got a target, we got a target, hey, look at what, oh for God's sakes, huh? Somebody's broken the ice, and of course, you know it would be Iowa, right? Yeah. So that's our first ace to hit their target, but we got 85 more to go. Who's going to be second? Who's going to be third? And so on. So, by gosh. They get to go to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. They're and the first on the Hall of Fame? They're going to go to the Hall of Fame. You're absolutely right. Yeah, and that means yeah. we're going there, probably. Not the Hall of Fame, because that won't no, be happening. We don't know that yet, Harold. It's whether they get the highest percentage of their target. Oh. So don't quit, don't quit pledging just because you've hit your target. No. You've got a long ways to go yet. They'll all be competing, believe it or not, to get us. And Harold, you didn't mention about the, you forgot that if you put your, any pledge, any size pledge, on a credit card, you're going to get this, give me credit for red, green button, which is something that you can wear if you want to put fridge magnets on you. <laughs> That's a good start right there. This is right. We got somebody who actually watches oh the boy, show. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. <laughs> this is so exciting. These all the bells and whistles are going to be going off all night. Who do you think? I'm, I'm going with Spokane, think? Washington. Spokane? You're my, you're they're my corner. Be second? Yeah, they're of course. Way, they're way down on the greens. Yeah, I know. They're That's what makes them so the exciting. We'll see. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> Don't leave me. At WGVU in West Michigan, we had a contest asking our viewers to describe their ideal Possum Lodge vacation in 50 words. Some of them had a hard time coming up with 50 words. But the most frequently used words were cars, duct tape, and possum. Well, right now, we're asking you to go to the phone and use words like pledge, dollars, and credit card. And when you do, we'll read your name on the air and use words like member. And thank you. The number's on your screen. Call now. All right, y'all, um, I'd like to call this meeting of an anonymous to order. And uh, to begin with, uh, of course, I'd like to introduce my Uncle Red to lead us all in the pledge. Uncle Red. I'm a man, but I can change if I have to, I guess. <laughs> This being a very special pledgeutainment men, men anonymous uh, gathering, I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Winston R. to come up here and tell us his story. And remember, no last names here at Men Anonymous. That's simply because men just aren't very good with names. Winston R. Thank you very much. Harold. 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 Sorry, sir. Well, guys, it was real good this week. I made a pledge to PBS. Hey! Well, you know, I watch PBS all the time, and they got those uh, highbrow shows, you know? Not, not, not those garbage shows, you know, like where they got guests who say, hey, surprise, I just slept with all nine of your brothers. <laughs> I watch PBS, and they got, like, Masterpiece Theater and uh, Lawrence Welk. So I got to thinking, all right, I made my pledge. Now what's in it for me? You know, how can I make a buck off this? Then I got to thinking, all right, all these PBS shows, are sponsored by big corporations, right? And they, and they mention the company name, you know, like made possible by. But, but it's not a commercial. No, because people hate commercials, right? Well, except for that suntan lotion commercial with the <laughs> bikini girls. <laughs> and beer commercials are good too, right? Yeah, I got to thinking, this is a sponsorship, so it's real classy. So they'd want my name in there. So I got to thinking, how about we make Rothschild Sujin Septic Sucking Service a sponsor. So I think in the future you could see Masterpiece Theater presents 
A Midsummer Night's Dream, starring Alec Guinness and Gwyneth Paltrow. And brought to you by Rothschild Sewage and Septic Sucking Services. <laughs> where your business becomes my business. Hey there, Dallas Fort Worth. I'm Joe Newendike from the Dallas Stars. We've proven that Texas has the best hockey team in the NHL. And now you're getting a chance to prove that KERA viewers are Red Green's number one fans. All you've got to do is open your wallet and help support public TV by pledging to KERA 13. You know, Red and Harold have promised to come visit the top five fundraising stations, and I think it might be fun to have a few more Canadians around town for a while. So call the number on your screen now. As Red says, keep your stick on the ice. All right, New Hampshire and Northern New England, no matter where you're watching this national red-green special tonight, now's the time to call 800-639-8707. New Hampshire Public Television, we're dying to get Red Green back. He's been here, of course, a couple of times. We want Harold to come along, but only if the phones are really ringing off the hook throughout the remainder of this red-green special. Is that going to happen? So help out New Hampshire Public Television during this very important membership drive. Get Red and Harold down here for a visit, 800-639-8707. If you've been watching the drive, you know all the reasons. You know how important membership support is to New Hampshire Public Television. You know this has always been your home for the Red Green program. Make your membership call now, 800-639-8707. Well, now, this is a very, very special moment, one that I wondered if I'd ever see in my entire lifetime, which hopefully has still got a little bit to go, at least another hour or so, and that is the inducting of the very first Red Green Station from PBS into the Possum Lodge Hall of Fame. And of course, we all know that it is Iowa. And I take Iowa's card right now, and I very ceremoniously take it up into this area here, watching for splinters as I go, <laughs> and uh, hook it onto this age-old piece of, I'm not sure where this wood came from. Oh yeah, I know, all right. Well, that's good enough. It doesn't matter, we're recycling here, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Well, you can't even see the hole. You see that? Anyway, uh, there's our first station on there. We've got 27 more spots. We don't know who's going to be here, but by gosh, let's just take a moment and congratulate Iowa. First station ever. Into the okay. Good for you, Iowa. All right, Harold, take it away. Things are really happening here. Things are always on the move, you know. But one thing that's not on the move right now is Chattanooga. So come on, let's go Chattanooga. I know you're watching the show, let's get involved. You're at 15%, 10 more percent, you get yourself on the map. <laughs> Who's the magic man? Booga booga. Okay, if you're up in that 25%, you get onto the map and then soon you can reach your goal. And how do you do that with reaching goals? Uh, they're merely pledging and with a simple pledge of $50, you get this fantastic mug. It says PBS, so you know what you've been doing with your money. You can say, where'd that $50 go I had saved? Gave it to these people, honey. And it's worth every drop because look, Red Green Live's on the other side. <laughs> All right, and for $100, you can watch a video. There's, huh? That's a good thing, because you sit back and you watch this it's about cars and men and the relationship. A lot of men remember their first car better than they do their first date. Sometimes they're combined, I understand. <laughs> then for $150, with a mere pledge of $150, you get the fact that the show is on the air, the quality of the humor, the wonderful people. <laughs> and you get a shirt. Carpe Ductum, seize the tape, which is a reference to the duct tape that we use here in the show. And if you haven't been watching the show, ask a neighbor, he'll tell you all about it. And if you put it on a credit card, you know what? We're gonna get, no matter what size, big, small pledge, doesn't much matter, we're gonna give you this button that says, give me credit for red, green. And that's what you're gonna get, credit. And we appreciate every time that you pick up that phone, phone your PBS station, and they phone us here. We think it's fantastic. Numbers are moving, people are surpassing their marks from last year. Look at this, Mississippi. This is where they got to last year. This is where they are here. See, that means they're still on the phone with somebody. They're still neck and neck. It's probably the guy from last year. <laughs> Topeka, Kansas has already surpassed it. And you, you know, you can get like vanilla Topeka. There's all sorts of good stuff. Erie, North Dakota, North Dakota starting to move. Pittston is on the way. Everything's happening. I'm so excited. Everybody's pledging. This is fun. <laughs> All right, Harold's got to go to a stronger medication, I'm thinking. But uh, <laughs> here we are. I'm, I'm in here with the audience. I don't know if any of you recognize this guy, but if you've been watching from the beginning, you've already uh, made an appearance on this thing, haven't you? Yes, sir. And what's your name? Um, Pastor Potluck. <laughs> and what's your real name? Randy Cormany. Yeah, no, 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 Randy, you're from where? I'm from Melcher, Dallas, and Germantown, Iowa. 
There not we a go. dual parish. Oh, you got to do this. This fellow's a minister. He really is. You really are a and, minister. And, yes, because I got something for you. Oh my gosh. This is from St. Paul Lutheran Church. It's a T-shirt for you. Wow. This is from St. John Lutheran Church, and it's a mug. Wow. And now that's evidence that I am a pastor, because I even brought the word. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, I think Iowa's got the word. They're already on the darn uh, Hall bet. of Fame. And, uh... Do you know that at Knoxville, they have the 3M company that makes duct tape? Oh, yeah. These guys, your job security. <laughs> much for them as I am, but uh, <laughs> you uh, congratulate all the people in Iowa for me. I got a feeling we may be seeing them later this year. All right. And maybe some of you recognize this fella. This is Don Ferguson from the Royal Canadian Air Fire Show. <laughs> plan going here where we're going to try to get your show and our show together and try That's to right. dominate the U.S. with Canadian uh, comedy shows, eh? Back to back. We're going to get together our two shows and then maybe we can get a couple of shows from Mexico and get them surrounded. That's right. Free trade, eh? That's right. Free trade for Free comedy. Free trade. All right. So how much have you pledged so far, Don? Uh, I've pledged, uh, well, uh, I nothing. All right, I gotta, I gotta be honest. I was gonna tell you Fib, and I thought, no, I haven't touched no. anything yet. Well, that proves, he's, he yet proves he's Canadian, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he's Cheap just... and honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're not fun to date either, I'll tell you. Take it away, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the board, and it's happening. We got, we got another winner. We come on down here. We got people who's already made to target. I know it's going older down in the Red Zion District. It's Salt Lake City, Utah. Down there. Oh boy. Well, that's great. Congratulations, Paige. Way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, K U E. Oh, we got another red line, Yoko Red. Oh boy. Where? No. Hey, down here. This is where the red lights, we keep them here. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Target's being reached all over the place. Woo! Uh, Hall of Famers, all of them. That's right. Yeah. Both, that's the Hall of Fame. They're both going to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, and they're all going to get the. You know, my favorite thing. This is my favorite thing. Hey, the, they're, all, everybody who pledged for those stations is going to get the Possum Lodge Gold Card. Fantastic. What do you get with that? What do you get with that? You get 10% off Possum Lodge merchandise. Like and you, you cut the sleeves off the shirts, and, and you could get probably uh, you could get a discount on therapy. I'm thinking, you know. Oh, okay, that's great. <laughs> I mean, well, over and above our group discount. Oh know? boy, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. It would be a little bit helps, I figure. Okay, so we got it rolling now. We got three stations the already the in their played. target. We're right on target. We're doing great. So just keep the phones going. Keep making those pledges. Spokane. Let's see if you can get lots of room. Spokane. We got her going. It's rolling. It's rolling. We got to get her going. We got Spokane and Portland neck and neck. Wow. <laughs> really? Where are they? They're in the green. They're down the green. Hello. I'm Rob Wild from WDCN Channel 8 in Nashville, Tennessee. I hope you're enjoying Red Green Live by you just as much as I am. <clears throat> as you know, we're having a friendly competition between cities tonight so you can raise the most money for public television. And if Nashville wins, the crew's promised to untape me. Right, guys? So, so please, if you're watching in Middle Tennessee, call Channel 8 with your pledge. Please. Uh, call now, won't you, please? Right, guys? We're going to have a little musical interlude now in our PBS Entertainment Live 98 special uplink thing, where ring a ma ding a ma jing whatever the heck this is. And joining us right now is uh, Arnie Dogan, who has written over 18,000 country songs, but is better known as a roofer. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. It's a real pleasure to be here. I'm just, I'm just so glad to be here. Even though it's not one of the major three networks, I always listen to PBS 24 hours a day. Well, that, that, that's quite an endorsement there. Unfortunately, PBS isn't on, you know, 24 hours a day. Oh, I know. All yeah. night long, I hear static and that, that tone. Oh, Arnie, 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 Arnie. I would, I would turn the TV off at that point, you know. Oh, I, I don't own a TV. No, I, I, I pick PBS up with my body. Oh, I know. Like, well, Harold has that. He gets the braces, and if he smiles and the face is easy, he gets all the CB truckers on the highway. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I pick PBS up with my leg. 
One time I, I fell on a TV antenna, one of them little rods went way up on in my leg. Oh, boy. And the uh, doctor said it formed a sort of natural pin, held the bones together. Eh? Oh, yeah. So, so he just left it in. Now I get PBS. <laughs> oh, it's a great station, Red. Great station. Are, are, you, are you listening to PBS right now? Yes, sir. <laughs> What's on? Us. <laughs> you know, with a slight delay, delay. <laughs> It's probably be a good time then for you to sing that song that you wrote for the, the whole oh. PBS thing. Okay. Is that now? Okay, let me just... And sell it, eh? Yeah, oh, I will. All right. Oh, just, I just got a tune. <laughs> if I was a betting man, my bets I would not hedge. I'd phone up PBS and I'd make a hefty gift. <laughs> oh yes, be one of them good people. Be one of the callers who phones up PBS and pledges a hundred bucks. <laughs> Don't be all angry saying there's nothing but violence and trash. Call up PBS, give them what they need to put on this show. Namely, your financial contribution. Ah! Oh, gee, it's that antenna feedback, Red Bull. Oh, jeez. Ah. Go. Ah! 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 Hey, we're rolling out the duct tape. If you're watching Red Green on WPSX in central Pennsylvania or southern New York, Call with your pledge of support right now. Hey, we want to show all those other stations out there that we support Red right here in the central Pennsylvania mountains, too. Call that number on your screen right now. Let us know that you're happy to have Red in the Lodge right here on your dial. If you do that, maybe Red and Harold will come and thank you in person. Or maybe it should be. If you pledge right now, we promise we won't give them your address. In either case, go to the phone right now and make the call. The number is right there on your screen. Ooh, possum brothers and sisters, I'm right here at the Mobile Global International Phone and Pledge Machine, Bill Stanley. Hey, Edmund in Calgary, Spokane, let's show everyone in North America that we are the most dedicated Red Green fans in all of the Northern Hemisphere. Go to your phone, call right now, pledge, pledge, pledge before it kills me. Ha, ha. Okay, all right, I'm at, I'm at the map. And that was, that was out of their, uh, out of Spokane. Well, we got Portland, who's neck and neck with them. Portland's already reached their 25% mark, so Spokane, the challenge is on. We also have Sacramento, California. You're on the map. And we got Denver, Colorado. You know what? You're on the map. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Welcome, 25%. Here we go with Houston, Texas. You're on the map. Jackson, Mississippi. What a fine, fine place. You know why? You're on the map. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. Olympics are over. Nothing to do watching us. Glad to have you. Welcome. <laughs> Norfolk, Virginia. That's hard to say with teeth. Norfolk, Virginia. You got to be careful about that. Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. There you go. You're on the map, too. Columbus, Ohio. We got one of your people here. And remember, we're keeping them unless you keep pledging. <laughs> Charleston, Illinois. You're on the map. Uh, we got Urbana, Illinois. Oh, Illinois just really loves this show. You gotta wonder about people like that. And <laughs> St. Louis, Missouri, on the map. Kansas City, Missouri. Missouri, look at this. You're on there. Everybody in Missouri's on the map. This is so great. <laughs> we got Topeka, Kansas. You're on there. And we got, oh, Vermilion, South Dakota. There's over Vermilion people watching there. <laughs> don't, don't do that, okay? I heard every one of you. I know you heard. Okay, we got Detroit, Michigan. Detroit's been one of the first people to air the show. And now we're going, oh, then Buffalo, New York's on there. I'm just going to keep on going no matter what happens. <laughs> well, you're on the map. It's connected. You're on the map. Hey, I want to talk to all you older folks out there. Sit around complaining about all the junk on television, how everything is crap, and why don't they make shows like they used to in the good old days, huh? I'll tell you something. If they actually ran shows like the ones you watched in the 50s, you'd soon realize they weren't all that good as you thought they were, you know? Back then, somebody said television is a vast wasteland. And now, of course, it's a lot vaster, but it's not a wasteland. There's some real good stuff on there. And one place where you always find good stuff is PBS. You know, that's TV worth watching, you know? And in fact, you may not watch every episode of Masterpiece Theater or Nova, 
But it's good to know that it's on, isn't it? And if you're supporting the Red Green Show on PBS, that's where you're watching it, I'm guessing. That's the only station that would bring it to you, a PBS station, because someone at your PBS station believed in the Red Green Show. Don't ask me why, <laughs> but they did, you know, and now we're on there. So when you support the Red Green Show, my golly, it's kind of like supporting an odd marriage, because it's funny PBS and Red Green being married like that, but I guess opposite, it's a tract, eh? But marriage isn't just about enjoyment, as most of you know who are married. There's also about support in there, you know? for richer or for poorer, and it doesn't get any poorer than this, believe me. <laughs> so don't just be hopping on the bandwagon there. Get out your checkbook or your credit card and push that pig a little bit, would you, for us, eh? Because once this bandwagon gets over the hump, it's all downhill from there. You know, I think I like the marriage analogy better. Oh, well, no, son. It's funny how it goes on you like that sometimes. It just drifts away on you. It's so sad. And we'll go back to Red Green in just about two minutes. But first, we want to let you know what's happening here in North Dakota at Prairie Public. As you can see, we're a little bit more than halfway towards our goal. And what that goal is, the dollars you see on the screen, we started with about $8,900. We need to get down to zero to reach our target. And also, that target means that we'll be able to buy the show for the next year. We've had about 30 or 35 people call in during this hour, but uh, you know what's happening? We have about 45 minutes left and we need some more calls. The phones have quieted it down and you're letting South Dakota beat our tails tonight. Now, if you live in North Dakota, Minnesota, uh, Montana, or uh, Manitoba, you know we don't want South Dakota to show us up. And the way that we'll uh, show them up is if you call in and pledge your support. I want to thank the fine people that are here in the studio right now answering your phone calls. We have the Up With Downs group and the Fargo South High Key Club. And we see uh, Rich there on the phone, but we'd like to see all of them busy. And the only way that can happen is with your calls of support. Toll-free number, you see the credit cards on the screen. Wonderful special thank yous come from uh, us uh, through Red Green, and they'll talk about them once again in just a little bit. But the important thing is every dollar we raise tonight will be put towards, yep, put towards buying Red Green. If you like the Red Green show, that's why you're watching tonight. We need you as a member. Membership dollars, largest single source of funding that we have here at Prairie Public. And the only way we can continue to purchase this show, we have to make a commitment at the end of the month, is if you come through and get that number down to zero. We do it one phone call at a time, and your call really can make a difference. So let's get that duct tape climbing up on his chart there. Let us get him to light up our light on North Dakota. And you can do that by just calling the toll-free number you see on the screen. We accept the four credit cards you see on the screen, and we have the wonderful special thank yous. But we need your call of support, and we need it in honor of Red Green right now, tonight. <laughs> information hub this is where it's all happening if you phone the number at the bottom of your screen that's going to go to your local pbs station and then they're going to grab their number of pledges and phone us here at possum lodge and those pledges will be put on our tow port like for instance utah is way above their limit so far why don't you just uh, introduce yourself yeah i'm fred esplin and uh, the good folks of utah are coming through we're at about 320 percent now so folks are really uh calling. that's great really them, but you can't stop because the highest one still has got a long way to go that's fantastic though congratulations great. were you did you show pledge attainment last year Oh, certainly. And how did you do? We uh, we came in uh, third. Third? You're in the running for first this year. That's so wonderful. Congratulations. We got it. This is just a major buzz happening now. This is fantastic. And over here, who do we have here? Ingrid Lakey from WXXI. In? In, in Rochester, New York. In Rochester, New York. Got all sorts of Rochester people here. Not Buffalo. Don't get Rochester going on that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Everyone's just moving at their best. This is going to be so fantastic. We're going to go over to the tote board and see how these numbers are tallying up now. Over to you, Uncle Red. Thank you very much, Harold. Well, okay, I, we've got the Springfield, Massachusetts. Wanted me to give a little mention. We're, we're kind of stiffing a little bit. we got to get, try to get up above that red dot. So if you're down there in Springfield, we're watching for you. We're going to be watching this thing right here. I did also want to mention to Oregon, I'm watching you guys. You guys are doing a heck of a job. You're getting way up there, so good for you. We got a few stations. Well, there goes somebody right now, right in front of my face. There goes Springfield right now. Look at that. You're there. They hit there. They've improved from their target last year. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her going, Springfield. Maybe you're the one of the ones that can actually hit your target and get. Did I mention my favorite premium of all time? The Possum Lodge Gold Card for everybody. Wow, God. 
you just don't see those on a pe person that looks like me all that often, you know? It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Anyway, so we got, I mean, apparently Dallas is doing real well. We've got a couple that are, Houston is a little bit slow. How can Dallas be doing well and Houston slow? What, what, what? We got another, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. What's that? Duluth, Minnesota hit their target. Make your station the next one to hit his target. We'll keep her going here. I'm Old Spice Ice. I'm on ice. I'm shaved ice. I'm cold as ice. I'm dry ice. <laughs> and we're the Ice Boys. I'll tell you what you want. What you really, really want. You want a pledge. You want a pledge. You want a pledge. If you want to be a member, it's time to make that call. Your pledge makes a difference. Watch the duct tape on the wall. If we meet our pledge goal sooner than the rest, you can help us welcome Red and Harold as our guests. If you want to be a member, dial that number on your screen. Membership is easy. Fun to pledge Red Green. If you'd like watching Red Green right here on Channel 8, Time to make that pledge. Dial us number now. Don't wait. Make that call. Pledge power. Hello. My name's Dalton Humphrey, owner of Humphrey's Everything Store, and as a junk and antique dealer, uh, Red Green asked me to come in here and tell you about these great premiums that can be yours if you pledge your support to your local PBS station. <laughs> PBS does not stand for Pledge Break Station, okay? Just get that thing straight. And if you phone in, everyone who phones in and, and gives a pledge on their credit card, you receive this lovely t- what? No, it's, it's, oh, okay, it, it's the, you receive this lovely button, uh, which says on it, give me credit to, for, give me credit for red green, which is just terrific, you know, and you can wear this button anywhere, you know, anywhere that people wear buttons with sayings on them. It's, it's just, well, like, say, for instance, my daughter's wedding, which was, boy, there was a treat, yeah. <laughs> All his side of the family shows up already drunk, which, you know, saved us a bundle on the bar bill, but let me tell you, okay, all right, I'm sorry. Hey, yeah. Red Green fans, we're the OPB production crew, jumping in front of the camera to tell you that Red, Red Green, Green is our hero. hero. We believe in the power of duct tape. If you do too, and if you're a Red Green fan from the Oregon Territory, then you need to call in your pledge right now. We need your support to be number one, so don't walk run to your phone and dial the numbers on your screen. And remember, we're all in this together. Now, for a $50 donation, you can get, again, this lovely, oh, I was, I was okay, it was, okay. Was, you can get this ceramic coffee mug, which uh, says on it, Red Green Live 98, and uh, it's a $50 donation, so. <laughs> but, you know, who wouldn't love to have this beautiful, beautiful coffee mug, you know? So come on, call in, and uh, call in to pledge, not to tell me you don't want the mug, okay? Hello, I'm Victor Hawkstrom, president of WTCI-TV, the Tri-State's favorite public television station in Chattanooga, Tennessee. As handy as it is, a duct tape can't keep this public television station together. It takes your financial support to make great programs such as Red Green possible on Channel 45. So come on, Chattanooga, Cleveland, Tennessee, North Georgia, North Alabama. Help us bring red green to our area by joining WTCI-TV today. If you're a huge red-green fan, and let's face it, someone is somewhere, <laughs> for a $100 pledge, you can send a message to the programmers of PBS to buy more new episodes of Red Green. And for a $100 pledge, like I said, you not only get that message across, you also get a copy of Red Green's videotape. Was this one of this stupid exercise? 
Car tape. Well, that figures. Sure. Okay, and I, uh, this is, uh, this is a great tape. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a funny one. I haven't personally seen it, but it's, uh, <laughs> boy, it's got a lot of laughs, and I'm sure, so if you pledge, the laugh's on you. <laughs> the laugh's for you. <laughs> laugh's for you. Hi, I'm Brent Williams from WUFT in Gainesville, Florida. I was on my way to Canada to take part in the Red Green Marathon, but this Channel 5 version of the Possum Lodge van wouldn't cooperate. You can take part in the Red Green Marathon by calling the number on your screen right now. Call and make a pledge of support for the Red Green Show on Channel 5, and if we're one of the stations that goes farthest over our goal, Red and Harold will both come for a special event in Gainesville. Your pledge is important, so call right now. Now, if you do want this lovely T-shirt, and let's face it, who wouldn't? It's a beautiful thing. It says Carpe Ductum on it, which is Latin for seize the tape. It's a beautiful thing. A $150 pledge will get you this. Now, I know, I know, but let's face it. Wouldn't this make a lovely, lovely gift for someone who's a big fan of the show? Huh? Okay, again, when you phone in, please do not try and answer the question. Just pledge, all right? Hi, Tom in Detroit here. No, I'd like to see red and green come to town. But you're gonna have... I'd like you to call because I like to see red and green come to town. One second. These guys are gonna have to fight now. I'm trying to talk to you. All right, look. Here's red and green up here. Here's Detroit over here. I'd like to see him come down. So could you call right now? I heard that. And finally, we're just excited as all get out because we have a, 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 something going on here. I've been, <laughs> I've been on pins and needles for a few days about this. We call it our Mombo Package. Here, you want to move your finger, Hill? Our Combo Package. <laughs> and uh, for that, you receive the uh, lovely ceramic mop. You get the uh, Carpet Ductum Seize the Tape T-shirt. And you get the videotape all for a pledge of simply $250 straight across. Now. Okay, but you saved $50 on that pledge from getting all these items separately, so you think about that. And we want you to get on the phone, we want you to call in, we want you to get all these wonderful premiums, because when you pledge your support for PBS, you're pledging for quality television. And, and the Red Green Show, but call anyway. <laughs> Please, call. You know, I just noticed that we're the only B-city on the red-green tote map there. That's Bowling Green. And we're competing against all those C-cities in Ohio, like Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati. So, if you want to see Red Green in for another season, I'd like to hear it from all you people in Bowling Green, and Bryan, and Finley, and Defiance, and Toledo, and Fostory, and Fremont. Call now here. Seize the tape. You know, I'll give you this shirt off my back for a $150 pledge here. It's Carpe Ductum. Seize the tape. Right now, you need to go to the telephone and seize the phone and make your pledge to WBGU. Back to you, Red. Thank you very much indeed. Well, this is another honor for me. And not only have we got one station in the Hall of Fame, I'm going to put six more in there right now. First of all, from Salt Lake City, Patty and Elizabeth and Paige and all my friends down there. K-U-E-D, Salt Lake City going up into the Possum Lodge Hall. Michigan always holds a special place in our hearts because one of the first places to run the show, WGVU in Grand Rapids. You're into the Possum Lodge Hall of Fame right there. <laughs> and you can't mention Michigan without first getting over into Minnesota. So here's Duluth, WDSE. Congratulations. You're in the Hall of Fame. See what I was saying about Michigan? We got another one here from Michigan. This is East Lansing, which I think is the capital. Congratulations. You're in the Hall of Fame. And, oh my gosh, I got three more. Wow. All right. What can I say? Alaska, four hour time difference. Nothing holds you people back. Way to go. And look at this. We got WCET in Cincinnati. Way to go. Paul, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Congratulations. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Take it away, Harold. All right, we got so many wonderful friends down here supporting us tonight and celebrating the Hall of Fame and the toll board and everything. And I'd like to introduce one of those wonderful people right now to you. This is Mr. Roger Abbott of the uh, Canadian Air Force. Maybe you recognize him. Say hello, Roger. Hello, hey, Harold. Good to see you, Harold. And, uh, you know, uh, 
Red Green and, and, and Harold and Air Force, we're neighbors on public television in Canada, and we're on a lot of stations together on uh, PBS, too, which uh, we call perpetually broke stations. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, we just want to say, America, get behind the Red Green show. America needs the Red Green show and so that Canada can get rid of it. No, that's not that's, that's, Whatever works, we don't, we'll take it. I was just up at the, the Possum Lodge dead animal skin house where uh, uh, their motto is, you hit it, we fit it. Uh, and uh, it's very nice. Uh, anything that you see by the side of the road on the way up, they, they, they fit you in it. And, uh, well, in fact, you can... <laughs> Thank you very much for dropping by. Have a great show. Thank you. And we have another friend here in your name, sir. Lewis Atkin from Rochester, New York. We've been an underwriter for years at Tenth City. We have a climbing wall and we have a climasium for kids. Red, green, and Harold's been down. Yeah. Visiting us in Rochester. Brought some great supporters. My family Yay! up from Rochester. All right, Rochester! We're going for it. We haven't had a lot of snow in Rochester, so there hasn't been a lot to do. So we've been watching your show. Well, that's great. Thank you so much for coming by. Rochester, Uncle Red now! Woo! Over here at the Toe Board. I got it. We're having a good time here. You know, a couple of interesting things. I'm way down in the green section here. This is a station Lubbock, Texas, phoned in today and said they're going to run the special. And I said, you people have a bit of a disadvantage. You have no idea what's going on here. And by gosh, if you pledge for this, then you're our kind of people. So let's <laughs> just call in. And if you don't know anything about premiums, just say, here's my credit card number. Take what you need and send me something. That's, a, that's a, always a great way to pledge. And uh, I also wanted to talk about University Park in Pennsylvania. I'd like to get see if we have number 80, see if we can get you boosted up a little bit. You're starting to get there, but we need to see up a little bit higher on the board. And I got a couple here that actually hit their targets last year that I'd like to kind of encourage a little bit. Now, Maryland, you know, we had some things there where, the, where it was support and it went away and the show went off the air and then last year we you went and hit your target and I was so darn proud of you. And now this year we're, we're getting a little bit off to a bit of a slow start, but we got a little bit of time left. Get on the phone down there in Maryland and keep it, make it happen because they'll take it off if you don't support it. And Houston, same kind of deal. We know we got some friends in Houston. Get on the phone. We're having some fun here, but get over to the phone. Get on it. If Dallas can do it, I think Houston can do it. So that's about it. Well, look at them all. They're all kind of, see, it's all kind of moving here because we're getting down into the short strokes here, down about the 40 minutes left in the in the whole rig here. And uh, we've got some stations that are doing real well. We've got some stations that have hit their target. But I think we're more going to hit their target as we go on through the night, and we're going to get it up and get it going. And don't forget how it works now. Five of these stations, Harold and I are going to come there. Please don't take that as a threat. We bear no arms, and, and we're wearing flannel. No one has ever been injured by flannel in the history of clothing. You know, you can get hurt badly in a leisure suit, and I don't mean just your feelings. You know, so we're going to be coming down there in the flannel. We'd love to come wherever you are. We like to go where they like us, and where they like us is where they pledge the biggest support. So pledge what you can, and get it up and over, and we'll have some fun. And did I mention my favorite premium of all? For those of you who hit your target, <laughs> me, red green with a gold card. Think about it, honey. Does that boggle your mind to think of that? Yeah, just don't worry, I'll take care of it. You put that down, then try to make a run for it. All right. So, pledge now. Let's keep her going. We got a little bit of time. Let's keep her going. All right, then. All right. And we'll be back to the Red Green Marathon in just two minutes. Want to let you know how we're doing. He wanted to let you know if you want to get that gold card, we need your calls of support. When we get down to zero, when we bring that number down to zero, we started at 8900 bucks. We're about 70% towards our goal. We got that down to zero. That means we've raised the money to purchase the Red Green Show for another year. We have to make that commitment at the end of this month, and I want to be able to check off the yes on the form and send it in saying we're going to have more Red Green episodes. But I'll need your help and support. Right now, we are about the number we started stalled out at last year. We raised uh, less than our goal last year, and we raised about right about where we are. So we have a half hour to raise that about 2,500 bucks here. It's done one phone call at a time. Your call of support makes it possible. We have great people here from the Up With Downs and the Fargo South High Key Club waiting to answer your phones. Unfortunately, some of them are not answering phones right now, but we have the phone lines available toll-free number. We accept the four credit cards you see on the screen. You join at the $50 level. We have this wonderful cup, this over-large uh, red-green cup. Of course, you hear the other premiums, the t-shirt and the video. $250, you get everything. You get that pin if you use a credit card at any level. And also, if we hit that goal and we're getting down, we're below $2,000 now. It's done one phone call at a time. 
If we get that, we'll be able to get that card, and who knows, we might get the most improved, too, and get a trip from Red Green. It can only happen if you go to the phone and pledge your support right now. We only have a half hour to go. Watch that number as it comes up on the screen. As we get count down and get closer to zero, it means we're a step closer to making sure the Red Green Show continues to be on Prairie Public Television and we can buy the new episodes. Toll free number, we accept the four credit cards you see on the screen. As a fan of the Red Green Show, go to your phone, make that call of support, and do it right now. There. You're on the board. <laughs> Congratulations. That's fantastic. Wichita, Kansas. Uh, we got um, Moline, Illinois is on there. And we're in uh, Bemidji, Bemidji, Minnesota. B E M I D G I. You're on there anyway. You know who you are. <laughs> Riverton, Wyoming, you're on there. We got to give you the light. We got to give them the light. I just, oh, I missed you. Oh, 44. There you are. You're, I forgot to turn you on. <laughs> They're not, you know, the map. Stop thinking like that. <laughs> Albuquerque, New Mexico, welcome to the show. Fort Myers, Florida, that's way down here. You know what we're doing. You're putting yourself on there. Bowling Green, we heard from you. The pledged guy was on there earlier begging you to get him on. Let's get happening. We got you in the 25% zone. Over to the tote board. Let's do that as quick as we can. Flint, Michigan. Okay, it's the sister city of Hamilton for the Canusa Games. We got a special alliance with Hamilton and you. Let's go over to the tote board and see how these are doing now. This is great. Boy, oh boy, Harold. All right, here we go back at the tote board. You know who's said hello to us here? Rick and Goldie from Buffalo. Say hello. How you doing down there, guys? <laughs> Thank you very much. You're on here somewhere. Hey, Buffalo's on here somewhere. Somewhere in here. Oh, hey, somebody's hitting their tire. What? Who is it? Down this way. Here we go. Down here. Down here. Down here. Who we got? New Hampshire. Well, there you go. New Hampshire. Public the Way to go. Way to go. I've been there a few times. It's been a lot of fun there. Oh, oh my gosh. That can be bad. All right. It's been a very cold winter here. Somebody else? Where is it? Oh, right here. I don't have to go too far. University Center, Michigan. Holy mackerel, we got three or four in Michigan. In the target. That's, that's, that's great stuff. Congratulations. Oh, here goes Lee. What? Where? 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 I don't see it. Did anybody see one flashing? Anybody see one flashing? I don't, I'll just make it up, I guess. Well, this gives me an opportunity. What? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Way down here in the green. Our first green target. Way to go. We got another greenie, another rookie. Hey, Spokane. Way to go, Spokane. Yeah. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Congratulations. Oh, there's another one. I said Spokane. I said Spokane. There's another one somewhere. We got another one down here, a red one. Oh, boy. Oh, Come on. Oh, where you go? Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Here we go. In the Ozarks. The Ozarks. My gosh. Ozarks. Public television. Public television. Hey, Monty, Monty, Mount, Mount Pleasant, hey, Mount hey, Pleasant, Mount 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 our own edition of the Handyman Corner. Well, what we have here is our own portable, self-made uh, production system. That's right, get the shot here on the camera, and goes through the cable, got the light here for special effect. Also, they're my own switcher, that's right. Plus, we also have an antenna to get the signal out to you folks. I was told that this show cost about uh, $6,700 to put on. So we need to hear some phones ring if you, wanna, if you want this show to continue. And uh, if we don't, then we're just going to have to take it to black. Hello? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, you would like to make a pledge. OK. Uh-huh, OK. Well, hold on a moment. For the rest of you viewers, just call in your pledge. We need your support. Thank you. If the women don't find a handy, you should at least find a handsome. Or was it that the other way around? This is the repair shop part of the show we call, if it ain't broke, you're not trying. <laughs> Here with something for us to fix is local bush pilot, Buzz Sherwood. You're in man! <laughs> <sighs> so, uh, what do you got for us, Buzz? My plane! 
Oh, no, not here. No, uh, no but I did try to bring it in, but I couldn't. Yeah, the door's kind of small. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a little bigger now. <laughs> right, but uh, I was out flying in it, right? And I hit this TV antenna, and like the prong things, they punched a bunch of holes in the pontoon, just like punch, 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 punch. Yeah. They're like bullet holes, right? But except the bullet holes in my plane, they're not in a straight line like these holes. So, like, I need something to plug the holes up with. Uh, do you think you'd recognize the same kind of antenna if you saw one? Oh, sure, maybe. I don't know. You know, sometimes it's hard when you're flying, right? Like this one time I remember I was flying through this really small cloud, and it turned out to be a goose. <laughs> All right, uh, I think if you open this, uh, you open oh, it. Oh, far out. Yeah, right. that would do it. Yeah, you stick yeah. the rods back into the hole. Yeah. Then you cock around them. Right. And you just cut them off. Cool. Excellent. Okay, yeah. here, now. What? Can you take the V-chip out of my converter? V-chip? What's that? Like v a snack or something? No, no, man, the, the V-chip. It's like this little computer chip, right? And it, and, it, and it filters out all the gratuitous sex and violence on television. It's a CIA mind thing, man. I'm not touching it, but, like, can you take the V-chip out? Well, are you sure there's one in here? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I was watching television yesterday, right? PBS, right? No gratuitous sex or violence, just this really cool, informative stuff. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, well, okay, that's not a V-chip. No, it's not. that's the kind of programs PBS runs, the quality stuff, you know. And But it's not gratuitous, and that we're actually having a special kind of raise money for them. That's why we got these cameras and the lights and everything. You can see those lights, too? Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Here's an opportunity, Buzz. We're doing this for PBS. Right. A lot of people are watching. Okay. You know, and you got a chance. You can tell them what you want them to do. Go cool. Ahead. Go, okay. ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Rock on! <laughs> Welcome to Houston, Texas, home of the Johnson Space Center. Who does NASA call on when they need real help? Take a look at this top secret footage. All right, Houston, we've had a problem. Well, by gosh, now you've gone and done it. All right, here's what you got to do. Roger. Now we're going to put this piece of garbage here and a piece of duct tape and turn it into something else. Okay, you uh, Do exactly what we said here. Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Thanks, Red Green, for not only making us laugh, but also helping bring our astronauts safely home. Now you should call Houston Public Television with your support so he can continue to do both. Some of the stations, they always send us stuff, and we're always happy to get this. And I just wanted to thank the people down in Georgia. I the Atlanta Braves uh, baseball shirt there. Thank you very much. Detroit, we got the Detroit Red Wings uh, hockey shirt there. Appreciate that. We got a little mug here. Who's this from? From WTCI. We support WTCI, our favorite public television. It's a TV 45. That's somewhere. I don't know where, but it's somewhere. Somewhere where they have green glass, I'm guessing. And WHRO, they sent us this sweatshirt. Thank you very much. And the suspenders go with that. And the WUSF in Florida sent us this thing here. These are this, these go on your windshield, you know. I don't use these because they tend to blow off around 60 clicks. <laughs> and of course, WFYI sent us an inflatable doll, but the crew went home with that. I'm sorry, but they sent us the hat. And we got the T-shirt from WFYI in Indianapolis. We really appreciate that. Now I got something real special to show you. Now you know the Possum Lodge Hall of Fame there. You saw that. Well, there's other things that are kind of like that. See these signs up here? See the picture of Harold up there, all carved, and the possum, and the red-green sign, the Adventures with Bill sign, and these things here. This is an egg. Someone's painted my picture on it, and we got a trophy here. And this stuff and other things, the handyman corner sign's not even here, and the possum lodge sign you've seen over the years, they're all made by the same guy. He lives here in Canada, and I'd like you to meet him right now. His name's Jim Jackson. Come on in here, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. Jim is certainly not typical, but I just want to take this opportunity to, to thank you for all the things you've done for us well, over you're the years. You're very welcome. You know, uh, we have a lot of friends with the show, but we don't have any better than Jim Jackson. We really appreciate that. Let's have a round of applause for him. Appreciate it. Well, 
Well, here we are at the Wall of Fame. I just want to congratulate all the new contestants and people who are going to be up here, like uh, NHP TV. It's Nephew TV. <laughs> That's from New Hampshire. You're on, the, you're on the Wall of Fame. Congratulations and welcome. <laughs> University Center, Michigan at WDCQ. You're up there as well. You've reached out for... Get, oh, look at that, you won't fit on there. You're making it tough for yourself, but you did it again. Ozarks, public television, congratulations, and welcome to the Wall of Fame, fame, fame. <laughs> okay, you're on there. And Mount Pleasant, yeah, you're, you're watching down there in WCMU, and then we're going to go over to Sioka Red, but you're all on the Wall of Fame. This is fantastic. We've got a few more spots, so if you can find a room, come on over. Uncle Red, you got more people than more Merrill, news? Let me do three. Whoa, 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 this is going to be so great, because you know what? Bells and whistles are going all the time. Oh, my gosh, I'm on. I didn't even know I was on. Okay, there's three stations that I want to mention. Oregon and Maryland. And Houston, those are three stations that I wanted to talk about. Let's see if we can get it going here. And let's not forget, we're 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 oh, we got, oh, we got another target. I was going to mention Buffalo, but we got another one hit. And I don't know. It's way down here. Way down here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Way down here. Who is it? Oh, my gosh. Wisconsin. Madison, Wisconsin. Hit the target. Way to go, Wisconsin. Way to go. Wisconsin's there. I should know this. Is that Milwaukee? Is that what it was? I'm yes. coming to Mil I'm going to Milwaukee. Wait, I'll be in Milwaukee. Wait, wait. Oh, Milwaukee. I'll be there soon. Milwaukee. Down here. Oh, green oh, light. Green oh, light. Oh, green oh, light. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Oregon. God bless yeah, you. Yeah, I did. Way to go. Who's? Oh my goodness. Peoria, Illinois. I see it. I got it, Harold. I got it. Maine. Maine. Maine Public Television. That's fantastic. Who knew they would be on there? They've been working so hard. And they're watching on M-A-N, M-A-I-N-E TV. That's the name of their channel. Keep her going. We're rolling now. So oh, my gosh. We're getting another one reaching the top. People oh, are trying to get there. This is good. This is good. This is very good. <laughs> Listen up, Iowa. Red's got something to say to you about last year's Red Green Live competition. We had 75 stations competing, each with its own target and everything, and out of the 75, Iowa Public Television came first, thanks to you. So come on, Iowa. Our reputation's on the line. Let's make other PBS stations around the country sweat tonight the way we made Red sweat when he came to Iowa last July. Maybe this year, Red will learn you don't wear flannel during an Iowa summer. Unless, of course, you own stock in any person. Welcome to the Possum Lodge Word Game segment of the show. And, and this week, Mr. Dougie Franklin's playing for the grand prize of a gift certificate from Sam Shoes. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Uncle Red, you have 30 seconds to get Mr. Dougie Franklin to say this word. Pabazes. No, 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 Harold. It's PBS. 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 All right. Go. All right, uh, Dougie. Good television. 52-inch monitor, Dolby surround, 10-foot satellite dish, and a wet bar. No, no, no. <laughs> Talk about good television programs. Oh, the uh, Monster Truck Channel, obviously. Uh, all car crushing, all the time. No, 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 no. All right, all right. This eliminates annoying commercials. The remote control. No. <laughs> all right, all right, think of this. I'm working with you. Nova. Chevy. <laughs> Barney. India Mayberry. No, no. Masterpiece Theater, uh, The Civil War. I've told you not okay, to bring no, that all up. Right, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. These are three initials that get everybody's attention. Oh, BMS. No. Oh. You know, but you're, you're, you're really close. You're close. Uh, IRS? No. DWI? No. DOA? No. SOL? No. TNA? No, come on, Dougie, come on. Yes, I know, I know, and I and Dougie, I know you want to win the prize and yeah, finish the close. game and everything, right? Yeah. And we will get back to the game. All right. But first, 
Yeah. We need you to pledge a little bit of financial support. <coughs> BBS. <There we> go. <laughs> Who's the new guy? Who elected him? You, South Dakota. Your membership dollars elect Red Green when you support the new Red Green show on South Dakota Public Television. Pledge early and often. And we may just get a personal visit from Red and Harold right here in South Dakota. Call in your membership pledge now and register your vote for more wacky male antics on South Dakota Public Television. Next, we'll see Lawrence Welk up here. Bully, bully. Uh. <laughs> quite a bit, but I don't necessarily think that means his head's made of rock, just because he's a... Oh, hi! <laughs> we have lots of friends in the audience, and I, know, I recognize you from last year. Why don't you give the audience an idea of who you are? Uh, John Lorenz. And you're from? Tacoma Park, Maryland. And that, what station do they watch down there? Channel 22, Maryland Public Television. Uh, how are you doing tonight? We're doing better than last year, I think. So that's like $19. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're doing great this year, aren't you? Wonderful, yeah. Yeah, that's terrific. You want to challenge everybody on down there? Yeah, more money. Get us over the top. Especially our family who are watching. We know you pledged once or twice, but pick up the phone and call three or four more times. That's great. Okay, you heard it. Let's do it. <laughs> Uncle Red, who you got? Uncle Red got some friends too. Don't worry, Errol, I'm here. I'm just looking to North Dakota's getting awful close here, and I haven't talked about them too much. So let's say hello to all our friends at Prairie Public Television up there. North Dakota, you're getting awful close. Maybe you can actually hit this thing before this darn deal's over. And the people at Maryland that was just mentioned. We're getting close, but we need we need a little more help from Maryland. I don't want the show to go away in Maryland. We, I know we got some friends there, so get up off your duff. You know why you're uncomfortable? Because you're sitting on a wallet that's too thick. We can help you with that. <laughs> get over to the phone and uh, take some weight off that wide. There we go. It even moved while I was talking about it, so we can get that thing going. Now, I would like to, uh, you know, there's, there's a fella here that doesn't get a lot of credit for some of these things, but I got to tell you, this is a guy who's been behind our show and from a great distance, usually, but he's been there behind there for a long while, and I'm going to bring him out here in a minute. But he, this is the guy that... Uh, goes out and gets the show placed at all the PBS stations. And then when we want to do a special like this, he's the one that doesn't say no, and there's not too many of them. And I want to bring him in here right now. He's a great friend of ours. Yeah. His name's Alan Foster. That's here for us. He's the whole reason this thing is this. Hey, Alan. All right. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Now, have you got any... Uh... You got any words of wisdom? Anything you can... Uh... No, you know, I, I came here tonight, I, I was told this was Masterpiece Theater, and some, oh. somehow the night has gone terribly wrong. <laughs> but uh, but I, I'm glad it's working. I'm glad uh, it's, uh, people are pledging out there and supporting public television. Now, is there any station that you would like to see do real well here tonight that would maybe be a surprise or kind of, you know, be a real treat for everybody if one came right out of the woodwork and really just kind of... Well, I'm rooting for one of my hometown stations, uh, Maryland Public Television, to do to do well. Yeah, we've been talking about Maryland, and they're they're yeah. getting close, but uh, they need another little. And uh, Sacramento, one, another one of my old hometowns. Sac uh, anybody who does well in California with the time shift and everything, well, I'm right. impressed thank with you. that. So we can get that thing. All right, so let's look for Maryland and Sacramento to do something again. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you, All right, appreciate it. Okay, Harold, take it away. Well, we're in that 11th hour stretch now, and it's starting to happen. You see some of the phones are kind of quiet. I'm hoping that down in your area, the pledge lines are filling up so they could phone here. I want to take this minute just to show you something just a little bit special. If you look way on down, you'll see this little gnome made out of wood here. And this was carved by one of our fans out of Duluth, Minnesota. Isn't that great? Look at that. He made that himself with a chainsaw. Yeah. It started out to be a chair, but oddly enough, it looks like Uncle Red, so he sent it up this way. And that's kind of neat, huh? He makes a whole bunch of those things. you got to wonder what's in, well, in his mind. All righty. And we got some people who aren't on the phone here. How about now that we talked to you and we didn't get a chance to talk to you, sir? Where are you from? Uh, Fairbanks, Alaska, Alaska 1. Wow, Alaska. Now, you've already reached your goal. Yeah. yeah. Now, you're going way upon. I understand last year they had a 21 chainsaw salute when Uncle Red went up there. Would you, you got anything planned like that for him this year? Well, it, stuff like that just sort of happens. You never know quite what it's going to be. There's it's all that sunlight, isn't it? Not yet, but it will be soon. <laughs> they get, yeah. It's coming back. Boy, you people got to get a little bit of sleep, and maybe we'll have to see what happens then. And we understand you're from Toronto, sir? No, I'm from Denver. Denver? Yes. Oh, that's another, that's a different part of the city. <laughs> now, what station down in Denver are you watching? Uh, KRMA TV. And how are they doing this year? I, they're uh, almost 100% or maybe more. Oh, almost 100%, maybe more. That's all we need to hear. Okay, this is fantastic. We're going over to Uncle Ray. Oh, we got some people back here. We got to find out what's going on. Yes, we got, oh, we got, we got a challenge. We got... Go WSXR. You oh, can do no. it. Come on, Buffalo did it. You can do it. Go Buffalo. It's no, so no, sad. No, go Rock, go Rock, go Rock, go Rock. They don't even know where they're from. Uncle Red. Just for that, Rock, just for the Rock. 
really, oh my gosh, this, we got, got a little out of control here, and of course, Harold is the captain of that, but uh, we've just about got all our stations on here now. Prairie Public Television, North Dakota, we're probably a little bit late reporting this. I think they hit 25% a little while ago, but congratulations there. South Dakota, they tell me the phones are slowing down a bit in South Dakota, so come on, South Dakota. Let's make it happen for Michelle and all the guys. I know we got lots of friends down there. You just pledge what you can. Don't go crazy, but do a little something for them. All right, what else have we got here? Okay, Mark, Marquette, Michigan. Oh, my gosh. Way to go, Marquette, Michigan. A great little town. Love that place. Ishpeming and my buddies there, the Upers. That one got turned out. It's already been on before. Indianapolis. Way to go, Indianapolis. You're on the map. Bloomington, Indiana. You're on the map. Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, Gaylord and all my pals down there. Congratulations. Chattanooga, Tennessee. Congratulations, you're on the map. Erie, Pennsylvania, you're there. University Park, Pennsylvania, way to go, you're there. Pittston, Pennsylvania, that, way, that fellow here, I think some of this is old news. In Maryland, we know you're above 25%. Sorry, we're just a little bit late reporting it. That's all that happens there. And Syracuse, New York, and we got Providence, Rhode Island. Look at this, the switch is actually bigger than the state, huh? <laughs> Isn't that great? Congratulations there. I think we pretty much got everybody lit up there. We even got Hawaii went on while we were doing one of the things over there, Hawaii. We, I never knew that Hawaii was between Alaska and the U.S. before, you know? And that's, that's about where we are. And I can tell you, Hawaii's had a very cold winter this year, you know? So, anyway, uh, we're, we're really into the, the end of it now. We haven't got, hardly got any time left in the show, but let's get your last kick. Let's get over to the phone do that one last thing. You can't do it tomorrow. You gotta do it tonight. So get over there and get on it. Give them a call and see how high we can take this thing. Take it away, Harold. All righty. Here we are. We're over at the Wall of Fame one more time, and we got Wisconsin Public Television on the Wall of Fame. Milwaukee, welcome to the Wall of Fame with WMS VS. WMVS-TV, you're there now. Maine, Maine is on M-A-I-N-E-E-T-V. You gotta figure out a name, you know? You got some spare time, I'm sure. Get some call letters. <laughs> Peoria, WTVP. That's gonna go right there. That's, you're all on the wall of fame. This is so great. It's not easy to get here. It's a lot of work and the people are fantastic doing it. It's still up to you. Keep the phones going. It's gonna be open well over an hour after we're gone, so it's up to you. Pledge, 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 pledge. Uncle Red over at the toll fort. I guess this is so exciting. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, we've already got any time left in this thing, just a couple of minutes, but I, I did want to tell you that we're going to stay open for another hour. We're going to keep the phones going for another hour so that everybody gets a chance to pledge and we get the accurate totals. This is important. We're only going to go to five stations, Harold and I. We want to make sure we go to the five that do the best, the highest above their target by percentage. So even the smallest stations have the same chances. It's not too late. you got a whole other hour to pledge. And I did want to encourage all the stations. I'd like to thank everybody who pledged here tonight. we still got room for some greens. Anybody you might win the prize on there. There's only three in that category. We've only got a couple in the white light category, so there's still time. Don't give up on us yet. By the way, when the results are done, we'll be announcing them right here on your station, and they will also be on our very own homepage, www.redgreen.com. So check that in the next couple of days, and we'll give all the prize winners and all the totals. And I'll be talking to you down the road anyhow. But meanwhile, we got two minutes left, so let's get over to the phones. Let's, oh my gosh, there's somebody just hit their target. There's somebody. Oh, you're down we got the target. Come on, Come on, on target. Right. Hey. WXXI, Rochester, New York.
Now, for those of you who've hit your target, keep the phones ringing. Here we go. One right here. Right here. Pitch done. Pitch done. Pennsylvania. Go new Pittston. Hey. Go new Pittston. Way to go. This is so exciting. Oh, man. Fantastic. All right. Well, keep calling them. Some of these I know are getting way up and above. I can't wait to add all these up. And have, oh, we got another one going here somewhere. We got another. I can't wait to do this.